There it is. It's so much more cozy with the books in it. Okay. Hey everybody, it's another day. And today, Megan is going to get this painted. So, actually last night we already did, so we, we finished up with the video of putting on the trim and we were gonna wait to do the caulking and whatnot, but Megan was pretty excited to get that done. So we went ahead and caulked it, filled the holes with the, the wood filler, and sanded it, and it's pretty much ready to go. Okay, first coat is on. The walls were able to do it in two coats, but since there's a lot of intricate little things, I imagine probably two main coats and then another coat of touch-ups. But what I do in the meantime is I put plastic wrap right up next to the paint, and I wrap the brush and the roller in plastic wrap as well, so I can come back and do the next coat. If you don't wait long enough between coats, it just actually pulls off the first coat. So you're not doing yourself any favors. So I have a fan going, and I'll probably come back in an hour or so. So, how's it going? This is coat numero dos. Yes. And I think you were saying that uh, you think it's gonna require three coats. Yeah, it'll be a light third coat, but um, it's not quite covering it. There's going to be spots. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you just, like, so, sometimes in the past I've been super stressed about that and tried so hard to make that second coat work. But it's like, dude. What's the point, right? Yeah, just relax. Just do a third coat. <laughs> See, that's, you're getting older and wiser. And it's more experience with painting, that's for sure. That's true. You're doing a lot of painting these days. It's funny how I used to, like, be scared of painting or dread painting and... The like, painting's like so easy, especially if you're just painting like flat stuff. This isn't necessarily easy, but painting a dang wall, you guys, just get a can of paint and It's so easy. It's so easy. Just do it. I think it's going to come together real nice. Meanwhile, I got Even Jude over here folding some laundry for us. These two are painting minifigures. This has been the activity of the day. Let's see. Looking good. Girl, let me see yours. I just started. Oh. Wait. So it doesn't look that good right now. Uh, where are the ones that are done? Well, there are some in my room that are already done. So the kids got these. They come like this. Just plastic colored. And then you paint them. It takes some real time and attention. Okay, second coat is on. You can see though, like right there, there's gonna need to be third coat. Maybe a fourth coat, right? No, no, no! <laughs> so then I think before I do the third coat, I will pull the tape and so I can see the spots that maybe the tape was covering up that needed to be painted and then finish the last one. But I think it's looking pretty sharp. All right, Megan has successfully applied the third coat. Now, well, some places I'm and not, it, so I didn't get it, so I'm going back and 
Yeah, but it looks good, man. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, that's going to be real nice. Then we'll get our whatever up there all decorated beautifully. Right, Megan? Decorated in a beautiful way. It's going to be good. I know some people probably would have preferred the wood, but not us. No, we want the color. And we kind of like the idea of the wall and this being the same. I think it kind of... Um, I wanted it to be both cottagey, but also kind of um, modern and quirky a little bit. So mm -hmm. I thought that it painting it one solid dark color did that is a lot. I think it's great. This. That's the smallest thing on the wall. It's a lot. I just put the last one. So these two have finished a couple of these? Yes. Oh, we finished Let's these see it. two. This one it doesn't look very good on the face because I couldn't get the eyes to work and then there's a bunch of layers of like... Let me see if I can zoom in on it a little closer. Oh, don't move. <clears throat> There's okay it's focusing on it. Okay. So what is that person? This is a bard. Which is people who Excuse play me. magic. <laughs> yeah, I play magic. Play music. Uh -huh. on, and they do magic with music. This is another bard. Let's just get close. Here, move your finger out of its, its, its face. You kind of hold it from the bottom. Not quite enough light in here to get a good look at it, but it looks pretty good to me. They're both done. Pearl's painting another. There's one more after that one that we've got to paint. Is that um, like a dragon or something? No, that's a, that's a tiefling. What is that? It's a tiefling. They're casting oh. a spell. It's just, it, it, they're just casting a spell on that. Oh, I see. That's why it's moving around like that. It's super wet right now. Oh. But I'm gonna, just I'm gonna, go there. Gonna, uh, I'm gonna, Let's see. I'm gonna... Let me see if it'll focus. Cool. Looks good? What are you saying, Jude? I'm gonna make something too. You're gonna make something too? Yeah. What are you gonna make? I don't know yet, because um, Andrew has to figure it out what I'm gonna make. Yeah. I don't know yet. He said, um... He said, I think just a minute. So. He said what? I think he said just a minute. He said just a minute before he tells you what you're going to make? I think he said that, but I'm not exactly sure that he said that. Okay. That's right. a maybe. That's a maybe, okay. It's a couple days later now. Um, we have lots of working on, but the next step is to get the books over in the shelves so the uh i think the, the prevailing thought here is we're going to take all the book boxes over so megan can pick through and decide what she wants to put in those shelves what she wants to keep for maybe long-term storage when we have more bookshelves and then also she told me she might actually get rid of some books what huh she might have forgotten she said that but she did say that a couple days ago uh it's been haunting me she's like she's scared about it but gonna get the books loaded up in the back of the van i don't know actually are, is this the only we have to have more than this pile of book boxes is this it it's kind of surprising me. i thought we had more yeah this is it sweet so time to load up the van and transport
gonna leave it there for now. I'm so hungry. Megan's oh, hungry, and it's kind of yeah. it's a little bit late. Um, we realized that didn't make the shelves super tall. Well, no, that was just so. The size of our house. That's just sort of like in order to get. It would have looked weird if it just would have been two shelves. It would have been too big of a gap, but three shelves was kind of a small gap. So. And if we went taller than the TV, it would have Right, it would have been kind of too tall. So it is what it is. Here, watch out, boys. So, we're going to kind of stop there, and we couldn't fit all the books in, obviously. We got some books laying around. We knew we wouldn't fit all the books in. Yeah, we knew that. You're right. We, we knew that we couldn't fit everything in. So I think we're actually going to put another bookshelf right on that wall right there. Just all the way to the ceiling. So that'll give us some more bookshelves. And then we're thinking about maybe doing some bookshelves in the rooms. Is that right? Yeah. For the, well, those... In the bedrooms. Books are not even included in this. So. Right. That's true. They've already got books in their rooms that are kind of stacked up. So we really could put books on this top, too. Oh, on the top shelf. Mm -hmm. That's true. So, but I think we're going to leave it like this for now. So, it's Friday, so technically our date night. We're super dressed up. Really nice. So, we're going to... Starving. Starving. Time to eat. It's later in the evening now. Friday night. Got some boxes stacked up back there. Megan and I went out and had dinner. It was so good. It was good. It was a good meal. Oh, so good. Mexican. Good. Us, through the meal, we talked about how we can get to Mexico. Yeah, it's a good, it was a good Mexican restaurant that we, we we've been to and like. Months in Mexico. Um, but then went to a thrift store. Megan found some, some great deals. But then we came back. I was tired. I went and kind of laid in the bed and just vegged out in front of the TV. Meanwhile, I didn't realize that Megan was out being productive. So... She finished up the bookshelves. We didn't have it being recorded, but... Well, because I just thought, is it, is it interesting to watch the finale it's super of it? interesting. Don't they you ever watch saw, like, the Joanna Gaines, like, putting the last no, touches on her stuff? Well, you see little snips of it. I don't know if they needed... To, like, they'd already seen a time lapse of me getting it almost... I know, but we were supposed to, like, close-up shots of you, like, putting, like, the last uh, book in place and stuff like that. I would that. have had to fix my hair then, don't you think? Oh. Did you guys see these? We got these at the grocery store. You got one of those. Isn't it cute though, the plaid? Now it really looks like you're robbing a bank when you're going in somewhere. Mm -hmm. So the bookshelves are done, pretty much. Let's have a look. There it is. It's so much more cozy with the books in it. We still need to find lampshades for those lamps. Somewhere. But this, these two pieces of art Megan actually found tonight at the thrift store. And they work really well with the color. I love them. Megan is in love with them. I got them to sell, resell, but... She was going to sell them on her Indoorsy store, but... They look too good. She decided they were too good too to good. let go. Got the fire going. See? For a $35 piece, I think that's pretty awesome. Because look at that. So beautiful. It looks like a real fire. But I think the books look really good, and it definitely makes the shelf look cozy. Cool. The whole room has a focal point. Besides. Now, again, you can't really look around too far. Or else you see things like that and things like this that aren't done yet. You're building more bookshelves there, right, Mike? Yeah, we're going to put, I think we're going to, I think I already said it. We're going to put some floor to ceiling bookshelves there. But just look at this and think of sitting and reading a book or watching a movie or just looking or at the fire YouTube. or watching the YouTubes on the big TV. And subscribing and hitting that like button, hitting the bell, and um, leaving a comment. Yeah, that's right. That's you're going to get in a t-shirt, a nervous house, yeah. a branded t-shirt. Visiting the website. <laughs> we got t-shirts, we got everything. And bookshelves too. Right. So that's it, right? Is it complete? Are we going to end it here? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you'll see that these aren't going anywhere, so you'll see them in other videos of the daytime and things. But thanks for coming along. We love you. Hope that you're doing well. I think we're all excited for a change in seasons. Change would be nice here mm -hmm. in 2020. So <laughs> don't forget, like Andrew said, to like, comment, subscribe. Head over to our website, norpensouth.com, and come back next time. We'll see ya. Bye.
And say hi to the kitty. Kitty! Stretch that. I don't know. He just popped himself down right there. I'm not sure why. That's kind of a weird pacing to the end of the video. Okay. You can just finish it then. <laughs> Bye.